the bloom from my wild Irish rose. Gentlemen, that was perfect. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're, you're a real slice of Main Street, USA, aren't you? You oh, That's where we are, right? Main Street, Elkhart, Indiana. Right here at the Seville Barber Shop, where they'll give you a shave and a haircut if you ask them nicely and pay them a couple of bits. You know, shaving, that's what we guys have to do in the morning, and that's why we're here in Elkhart, because right down the road is a place where they make the legendary shaving cream, Barbersol. The Barbersol story starts in 1921, down the road in Indianapolis, with one Frank Shields. Like a lot of us guys, Frank had a tough beard but sensitive skin. Shaving butchered his face, and Frank didn't like it. So in his Indianapolis laboratory, the MIT grad concocted the first modern shave cream. Few men today can remember back when shaving wasn't for sissies. That is, when barbers were also surgeons, and for good reason. Guys wore mustaches and beards not because it was the style, but because they didn't like to bleed. Barbasol was what changed all that. Here's Tom Murray, president of Perio, the company that makes Barbasol. Aside from eating and sleeping, shaving is something that a man does every day, and there aren't many things like that. Think if you had to mix your toothpaste each morning and keep separate products for making that up, it wouldn't be as convenient. Shaving cream used to require serious equipment, mugs, brushes, cakes of soap. With the creation of Barbasol, men could bust their beards without, well, busting their buns. Beard buster. I had a dog named Buster. Didn't have a beard, though. Barbasol was an immediate hit for two reasons. We will surely recognize one. First, it promised to make life easier for men trying to get to work. And two, the ad campaign was downright sexy. Oh, yes. Lucky in shaving, lucky in love. Barbersol definitely helps you get girls because it's proven that a neat, clean-shaven man is very attractive to a woman. Sex sold in the 1920s, 30s, and 40s, and it still does today. Since the beginning, Barbersol has been known as a product for the man's man. So it's no wonder that rugged athletes like Babe Ruth or dashing movie stars like Douglas Fairbanks wanted to associate their faces with Barbersol. Shaving lather or aphrodisiac? <laughs> Maybe both. But whatever it was, the product got its name because it was the Barber Solution. Get it? Barbasol. This is Rob Thiru, who's the uh, chief operating officer here at Barbasol. And Rob, I'd just like to ask is the show is called Made in America. Is how many of the ingredients can everything is made in America? Well, John, the entire product is made in America. The steel comes from American steel mills. The steel goes to can companies in Georgia and in Illinois where they roll the steel and print it to make the can. All of the chemicals that go into the formulation of the product itself come from sources in the United States. So how do all these homegrown components mix and mingle to create Barbasol? First, the soap mixture is blended in giant tanks that can hold 5,500 gallons. I'm sorry, pal. I'd like to help you out, but I, I'm not from around here. At the other end of the plant, empty cans are shuttled down a conveyor belt, then inverted and cleaned out with a blast of air. Now the cans are filled with exactly 14.75 ounces of Barbasol concentrate. No doubt you're wondering how 14.75 ounces can become a six-month supply. The answer is a shot of hydrocarbon propellant. Before it's loaded into the can, the propellant is super cooled and super compressed. When you press that blue button, it hits room temperature and expands, and expands, and, well, expands. It takes only 15 grams of propellant for a really good shaving cream fight. Either that or about 180 shares. Try this at home, kids. Tom, I'm not quite sure these things are ever going to empty out. The filled cans have to be hermetically sealed and be able to withstand almost 100 pounds of pressure without exploding. 
To make sure they're safe, the cans are submerged and conveyed through a 140 degree tank. Any can that starts making bubbles like a little kid in a bathtub is sent packing before it gets a chance to explode in the back of a car on a hot August day. After capping, the Barbasol cans finally begin their journey to the medicine cabinets and sinks of the 20 million men who wouldn't shave with anything else. Make that 20 million American men using an all-American product. Why keep the company in the United States? I mean, why not you know, go offshore where the labor and products would be cheaper? I would really turn that question around and say, why not? I think every company should strive for that, and I think we should be very proud of that. There's no doubt that the experts here at Barbersol know a thing or two about shaving cream. Well, let's go down to the Seville Barber Shop and meet Larry Stamper, a man who knows a thing or two about the art of shaving. Next. Uh, next. Come on. Ah, I guess that'd be me. Yeah, that's Hi, Larry. Me. John Ratzenberger. Glad to know you, John. I understand you've been you've been doing this for over well over a week anyway. A couple of weeks, yeah, about 48 years. 48 exactly. Years. Yeah. When I uh, went to barber school, uh, they gave us a mug and a brush and a cake of soap that went into the bottom of the mug, and then uh, they put a little bit of water in there, and then you just stir it around like that, and that's the way you made your lather. Just go ahead and wave. Young Larry did me the honor of giving me an old-fashioned shave with a modern shaving cream, Barbasol. Now we'll do a nice hot towel. Uh, okay, uh, John, how's the family and the wife and the kids? Uh? Could you afford a radio? <laughs> thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you to the Toll Order Barbershop Quartet, and thank you to the legendary Larry Stanford, who's given me a shave. I haven't had a shave this close, I don't think, ever. This is much better than electric. This is wonderful. And uh, thank you to uh, Frank Shields, the man who invented Barbasol over 80 years ago. Now, one man's opinion is if everybody went through this, sat down in a barber chair, had a shave, was to a barbershop quartet, it put psychiatrists out of business. This is wonderful. It's like a week's vacation in Hawaii. Thank you again, gentlemen.